So, the introduction to the medium format camera system Mamiya RB67. The Mamiya RB67 is a camera system that's being focused through the viewfinder using these uh, rotating knobs on each side. On the lens itself, uh, we can find three rings. First is for uh, changing the uh, exposure uh, time, second is for changing the aperture value, the third one is for the actual unlocking of the lens. The lever on the side is for the uh, reloading of the mirror and the shutter. On the back uh, we can see the film back that's uh, possible to rotate to the vertical or horizontal position. The vertical or horizontal position is indicated in the viewfinder uh, using uh, dashed lines. In the vertical position we can see dashed lines along the sides of the image. In the horizontal position we can see a red and red line on the top and the bottom of the, of the scene image. The viewfinder usually with most of our cameras has a loop included and the loop is uh, like loadable or openable via this like gray button in case there is no button with older systems there is this latch inside the viewfinder itself change of the lens uh, the lenses can be changed using the lens locking ring which is the ring closest to the camera body if we like rotate it left and align all the points on the lens itself on the locking ring and on the body the lens is unlocked and we can safely remove it cap it and then uh, put another lens on the body when we put the lens on the body we can again like rotate the locking ring and the, uh, the lens is locked in place don't overdo the locking or the lens won't be possible to take off the camera change of the film cassette film holder as we know the holder can be rotated to vertical or horizontal position it has two unlocking levers on the top and one on the bottom they should be unlocked and locked simultaneously this is that's the easiest way how to do it so when we unlock them we can freely now move the uh, move the film back and let's make sure nothing gets into the mirror chamber and that's very sensitive mechanism and can be damaged easily the locking uh, levers themselves uh, can be locked even without the holder on the camera and then they are slightly difficult to unlock uh, there is a very small latch on the side of this film uh, plate that can be pressed and then the lever can be unlocked again so keep it unlocked if the holder is not on the body itself uh, to lock uh, the holder onto the body we just put it in place we check that it's aligned properly there is no excessive gap on any side and we can lock the holder in place triggering if possible both of these locks simultaneously and now it's locked we check again that the holder uh, sits tightly on the body it's not moving in any direction there is no gap uh, there is no, no wiggle everything is aligned properly loading of the film we are going to be trying to load a medium format film which is the only film compatible number 120 which indicates the length of the film also and uh, we will be doing it on a uh, unloaded holder or like holder taken off from the camera it can be done on a holder fixed on the camera without actually removing the film holder film back of the camera body we'll be just demonstrating it this way 
for the sake of easier manipulation. We are gonna unlock both of these levers from the side of the film holder, from the top and the bottom. That unlocks <coughs> the film door, which are gonna pop out, hopefully, yes. And now we can take the inner part of the film bag, film holder, out and we will be loading the film in there. In this uh, presentation we are going to be loading just the test film without the actual film. It's just the paper backing that we are going to be loading. That's why it's slightly slightly smaller than the, our usual film. We can see that on one side we have this uh, rotating lever operated mechanism that's going to be for the actual um, reeling, for the actual uh, reeling of the film. Uh, on the other side we have a free moving spindle and we are gonna move this uh, empty spool uh, of the film to the other side where it's gonna um, where it's gonna work as a film like loading films, spooling, reeling mechanism. <coughs> now it's in place, firmly in place. We can test that it's rotating just fine. It's not going anywhere, it stays still. And uh, we can proceed with a loading of the actual roll. The roll film uh, is probably gonna be uh, like taped or glued, so we remove the tape completely so that no <coughs> no part of it stays in the camera. And the film has two sides. One is usually fully black and the other one is uh, with some print or in color or white as in this case with the Ilford film. We need to make sure that the black is from the outside of this inner part of the holder. That's essential if we actually want to take pictures on the film, otherwise we would be just taking pictures on the paper. So make sure if any writing is there, it is on the inside of the paper and the outside, the one, uh, the paper that's visible from the outside, now it's the back side in this part of the demonstration, is fully black. <coughs> we will slot uh, this uh, film uh, strip end through the uh, slot in the in the spool. Hopefully it's gonna go for the first try. It does not, so let's flatten it some more and try again. We can position the spool in the in the correct uh, position so that it can go uh, easier, and we will just feed it through the slot, just like that, leaving enough of the film so that it can be safely reeled onto the spool. Once it's safely secured in the position, it's not going anywhere, at, le at least not go in anywhere. Now we will check once again that that side is fully black and there are no letters in there and we will start slowly and steadily reeling the film onto the spool. So once the film is like at least one rotation it's fully secured and we will also see this double-sided arrow. This double-sided arrow is indicating uh, where the film should be put into the rest of the holder and locked and it should be pointing to the arrow that's indicated in the, on the inside of the film holder. So we will rotate it slightly so that these two ar uh, arrow, um, arrows align. And once they align, that's it, we can lock this inside part into the rest of the film holder. We will check once again, the back side is fully black. We will 
put it uh, inside the film holder and we will lock it closed. We need to make sure that there is again like nothing moving around, uh, everything is locked in place, nothing is really opening at that point and the dark slide is inserted. It usually is because otherwise you probably might not be able to take the film back of the camera. Once the film back is ready, film holder, we will just align it with the camera body and we will lock both of these lockers in position and uh, we will make sure that the film holder holds steadily on the camera, it's not moving anywhere, it's uh, once the back is uh, fully aligned on the camera, fully secured, uh, we can proceed with forwarding the film to the position number one, to the first frame. So we need to move uh, the film advancing lever as far and as many times as it will let us and then it's gonna lock in place and we will see indicator number one uh, that signifies the first frame is actually loaded and uh, ready to shoot. Loading and uh, loading. So for the actual shooting we need to remove the dark slide of the camera, we can store it in the back usually, we can set the time, set the aperture, we can focus and there is a shutter release on the right bottom corner of the camera and when we press it the shutter is gonna uh, actuate and uh, expose the frame. Also the mirror is gonna flip so we need to after shooting we need to uh, load the actual lever on the side of the ca camera uh, reloading the mirror, uh, reloading the shutter and uh, then uh, we need to move the film advancing lever to the position number two. After that is done the camera is ready to shoot again. If we do not want to shoot again we need to put in the dark slide so that the film is protected from uh, uh, accidental exposure. Some of our bags are a bit older and they uh, do not unlock uh, by itself. They need to be unlocked so that they can be advanced to the next frame. So that's what this locking uh, is for. This uh, lever is for either single or the red dot signifying multiple exposure uh, set. So the shooting is uh, loading the actual mirror, uh, setting the time, aperture, focusing, checking that the uh, film advanced lever is like loaded for the next frame and then we can actually trigger the shutter, trigger the release uh, shutter and uh, shoot. After each frame that is necessary to repeat, so triggering then loading the mirror, uh, advancing the film and in case we do not want to shoot at the moment we can also lock the, the shutter button itself so that uh, it cannot be pressed. That's this rotating lock around the, the shutter button itself. And then again after shooting we load the mirror and shutter, we advance the film and uh, now we are getting near the 10th frame which is the limit of the medium format in uh, this camera and once we shoot the number 10 frame we load the mirror again and we start loading the uh, start advancing the film and now it goes uh, freely and we can actually advance the film to its end position and uh, definitely we want to advance it uh, securely beyond that so that the film is really on the spool and we are not surprised by exposing the film accidentally. We need to put in the dark slide so that we can take off the film back <coughs> and once the film back is off the camera or we can actually do that on the camera itself we can open it using these locks. We depress the, uh, the button inside to release the, the spool 
and then we wrap the film correctly, which means bending the end of the film um, onto itself and then taping the included tape over and then storing it somewhere dark and cold uh, preferably. The film should be changed in a shadowed conditions, not in, not in full daylight or full light in a room or whatever. The empty spool stays in the film bag so that it can be later used as a reeling spool uh, for another film. We always put the film bag back onto the body so that the mirror, uh, mirror parts are protected and we lock it in place. On the left side of the camera we can also see a lever for the locking of the focusing mechanism. This uh, lever can be also used for stiffening the mechanism, so in case it moves too freely you can just lock it a bit to make it a bit more stiff. All of our Mami RB67 cameras are equipped with uh, uh, mounting screw reduction for like standard tripod screws. So that's it. Uh, thank you for following me up to this part and in case you have any uh, questions, anything is unclear, don't feel, uh, don't fear <laughs> to contact me with any questions or you can of course consult the PDF manual where you will find a lot of other uh, extended functions of the camera system.